Happy Happy Anniversary 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 Yes that's right guys it has been officially one year, probably not exactly one year, uh, I, I'm not bothering to look it up, but, but basically it's been one whole year, a uh, little bit more, a little bit less, I don't freaking know, but, but, but yes, it's been a whole year since I started this show, and even though we haven't done that many while just keep in mind that we do this whenever there's like this big old deal of a movie happening and uh, and whenever that happens um we do this show so that means like a whole bunch in the summer not much that in between a whole bunch in the uh, in the uh, fall and winter and then not that much in between again but you get, but get, get to look forward to a whole shitload in the summer at least. So yes. Um, yes, and not only is this the... What does this mark the one year anniversary of, of us doing this? Uh, you know, reviewing movies for your uh, benefit. Even though it doesn't seem to be that many people's benefit. Because, um... Well, I'll get into that in a little bit. But, but the point is, yes. Um, and... And, and, and we've been very happy to do this, but uh, it's not only the one year anniversary of us starting this, um, this uh, series, it's also the, um, the one year anniversary, the, uh, one year anniversary of, uh, of, of, of this YouTube, uh, channel starting to do this kind of thing, with uh, using the super villains and using, uh, cartoon characters of us to, uh, talk about stuff, uh, you know, you got me talking about the big movies, you, you got Blob talking about the movies I don't give a shit about, and, um, and you got, and you had Bladnovsky talking about super villainy on the TV shows, so, um, you got all that, and, uh, and we were proud to say that since this, uh, since this, uh, series began, uh, this YouTube channel only had a measly six subscribers. I mean, I, I, we appreciate, we appreciate the six subscribers, but you know, it's, it would have been nice to get, you know, a little bit more. And I am proud to say that after a whole year of doing all this for you guys, uh, to get, you know, uh, I, we, we no longer have six subscribers. Yes, we, inst we, we now, um, after all the success of this show, we now, uh, have gone up from six subscribers to seven subscribers. Yes, we are. We are. We are up to the lucky number seven. And and and, and so now we have seven subscribers on this channel instead of six. So thank you, one guy who decided to to subscribe during this 365 days of doing this. Ugh. But, 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 but seriously, folks, say thank you very much for subscribing. And by folks, I mean folk, even if you're listening to this. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, none of the six previous people even still listen. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, but if you are, but if you are, thank you. Thank you, one per or two people, or three, or, or four I don't know, eh? I, I, I heard that our videos have gotten a lot of uh, viewers lately, so I guess there's that. But you know, if, if, you, if, if, if you watch my videos, you know you could always subscribe if you want. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not pressuring you in anything. I'm, I'm not that friend from high school who's like, hey, here's some nicotine, tobacco, here you go. And then I'm not that guy because that guy's probably dead by now. But anyway, um, so yes, um, one year ago, I was talking about a particular certain movie. And do you know what movie I was talking about? A uh, special guest. Um, what, what, what are you talking about? Or oh, that, um, Mila Kunis, uh, alien movie? 
Nigga, well, yes, but that was only as a trailer. Oh, oh, that's, that's how, that's what you've been, uh, that's what you've been, been, uh, talking about this, this, uh, whole time. Nigga, yeah, no. That was only that was only the trailer we saw last year. That wasn't the movie that you and I reviewed last year. By the way, everybody, this is uh, Trevor Slattery. Uh, he helped me uh, review the um, the first ever movie I ever did, and uh, and he helped me. So it only seemed appropriate that I would get him back for for this for this uh, project. Or 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 I uh, or, 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 or appreciate it, but I thought we would um, you see, I I I specifically I don't remember uh the the movie that that much. Uh, what I do remember was uh the Mila Kunis uh, Alien trailer trailer. Oh yes, yeah, Jupiter Descending or something like that. Yes, uh, yes, I remember one year ago when we talked about the trailer for that and how you thought that was the actual movie. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, who, who was that uh, a movie uh, come co co out yet? Um, no. Oh, uh, do, 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 do you know why? Um. Uh, the, apparently, uh, they had to postpone it all the way to February of uh, next February. So, uh, so yes, it's been a whole year since we saw that trailer, and yet, still hasn't come out yet. Oh, that's that that that, that that's a shame. Or or, or hope it does better than or, or, or Sp SpongeBob. It probably will or not. SpongeBob's freaking big. So anyway, let did you let I I I. I I, I want to focus, uh, Trevor. I want to fo. I want you to focus, okay? Let's talk about the movie, the movie that started it all. You know, the one that started this, uh, re this review show. Well, it, well, it didn't technically start, but but it did. Um, it it has gone down in history as the first movie I ever reviewed and started this whole line of a whole bunch of. Big ass reviews. Um, so let's talk about that one. And you know, of course, what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Or, oh, or, oh, or, oh, is, is it, or, oh, or, oh, oh, the whole, oh, the Hobbit? Yes, finally! Finally! Yes, we talked about the second ever Hobbit movie. We talked about the second one last year, and now we finally have the third and final of the Hobbit films to talk about tonight. So, uh, uh, after a year, we're going to talk about the uh, the, the second Hobbit movie, right? right? You no, know, we're talking about the third one. What, 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 what are we talking about the third one? Because this is when they just came out. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you you may tell me that the one we just saw right, right, right now in the theater was was the uh, 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 third one. Yes, it was the third Habit film. The, the one we saw last year was the second. Uh, oh, 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 okay, oh, 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 now, now I remember. I still haven't seen the... Uh, the 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 first the first one, uh, still we 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 haven't you? I I I just haven't found it hard. Well, we'll go watch it then. Uh, uh, okay, or uh, or uh, 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 will. Okay, I'm back from what watching the first one. Okay, good. Now we can talk about this one. But 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 now I have to watch the other two again. But did you really away? Because now I forgot them. Okay, I'm back and I watched the other two. Okay, good. Now we can finally. But, but I, I forgot the first. Get damn it, get damn it, Trevor. Let's just let's just get this over with, okay? You now now no, no, you should walk, walk blue after all. This is our uh one year anniversary. Well, any one year anniversary for me for me anyway. Uh, you this is only your third time on the show. 
Uh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, how, how come you didn't have me or on, on any of the other shows except for that uh Captain America movie and uh those two are uh, uh Hobbit films. They have no idea. I I don't know. But but anyway, uh, let's go. Let's get on to uh, this film. No, I I want to know how come I uh wasn't invited back. I don't know, maybe it's because you kept selling drugs to all the crew members of the studio? Oh, uh, that, that, that might be it. I, 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 I apologize. That's okay, Trevor. But I forgive you, and I promise to give, to, um, to, uh, bring you back to the program more often in 2015. I can't believe I have to wait 25 years for that. The 2015 is next year. Oh, 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 okay. I, 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 sorry, I, I, I thought it was 1994. So, 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 sorry, but that's okay. So anyway, um, let's talk about um, the latest installment, or, or, or should I say, the final installment? Yes, this is the final Hobbit movie. Oh, oh no, they never got to all uh, adapt. They are. Uh, they are Lord of the Rings films. Actually, they did. Uh, back in 2001, all the way to 2003. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, oh, I think I was uh, in a drug-induced coma then. I'm gonna have to watch those uh, now. No, no, no. Let's 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 just get this over with, Trevor. Ooh. So anyway, yes, we started this all out with Peter Jackson being all like, well. Uh, if I, if I'm not gonna make these Lord of the Rings movies, then no one will. So screw it, I'm gonna make them. Yep, and he did apparently. Yes, and I saw them, and they were a okay. But then they decided, you know, there's another uh, J.R.R. Tolkien um project that is in continuity with these films. They never had an uh, adaptation by, by me, and it would be a crime not to adapt them. Uh, so, let's do the Hobbit films. Cut to a decade later when they've decided, yep, we're definitely going to do these even though we waited 11 years. So, we got the first Hobbit movie in 2012, and the second one last year, and now the third and final installment. Now, here's the th here's a little bit of history. D d didn't you just g give us a history? Yeah, but here's some more history. But first, I must take some ice cold water uh, to the uh, mouth. Oh, I could just give my mouth an ice bucket challenge. Th that's probably going to make this all dated in a bit. Yeah, you're probably right, but, um, so, um, the original, uh, Hobbit, the original Lord of the Rings, I mean, or, or, or maybe I should just talk about Hobbit first, uh, Hobbit was just this, uh, one book, you know, that was supposed to be a children's fairy tale, and then, uh, the writer, J.R.R. Tolkien, I uh, thought, you know what I should do, I should, uh, make, um, I should make a whole epic trilogy, and I'll put it in the same continuity as The Habit, and, uh, he did that, and then that's what Peter Jackson made, uh, make, that's what made P P Peter, Peter Jackson go, you know what, I'm gonna make these into an awesomely epic live-action film, uh, way better than that animated bull crap, and, and so he did it, and then he was like, you know, you know, I never did do The Habit. Maybe we should go back and do The Habit now. And that's what eventually happened. Uh, they did The Habit. But at first, they were like, okay, um, we, 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 we adapted the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy uh, into a trilogy. We took the three books and made it three movies. But this Habit isn't going to be as low, uh, uh, this habit is just one story. Um, it's not a trilogy, and we're so used to, you know, doing this as a trilogy. You know what? 
We're going to make a whole damn trilogy out of this. So you get to your three films, everybody, whether you asked for it or not. You, 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 you got your unexpected journey. You got your desolation of the smog. And finally, you got your uh, battle of the five armies. Uh, all right. Uh, who were the four armies? Um, well, 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 before we get into that, let's talk about um, the movie itself. Now, what were your overall thoughts? Well, uh, after all, seeing all three films and all uh, doing my very best to uh, keep all three in my memory at the same time, uh, I thought that uh, this trilogy uh, works only good if you see all three. If you don't see all uh, 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 two of them and only see one of them, it's going to be uh, confusing as shit. Yes, that's what I thought too. It, it's more, the, the, I guess the problem is that you have to see all of them to understand what the hell is going on. It's not like a standalone story. It's like, okay, uh, like part two, um, you, you had to see some shit already and then you have to see some more shit after. You can't just enjoy it for what it is. You have to also enjoy what became, what, what came before and what came after. But now, we get to review the after, yes, just like, just, just such an appropriate uh, movie to review on our one year anniversary. One year ago, you and I ended the video praying that, um, just praying that we, that this would, there would be only one movie left in this uh, franchise. And that was what we got. So now that our prayers have been answered, whether it was by Buddha, or Jesus, or Zeus, or Thur, or the guy who I can't name, or Buddha, or that alien that Tom Cruise believes in, um, uh, uh, we got our final movie, and let's review it now! Uh, uh, okay, so uh, the the movie uh, the, the 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 movie begins with uh, with with, with uh, Bain, uh in this uh, walkie races from hell and no 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 that was Mad Max Fury Road. Oh uh, oh oh uh, 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 okay. I I I I I'm I'm sorry. I'm I, I I'm sorry. So 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 the movie begins in, in this uh, futuristic uh. Uh, 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 this uh, fu futuristic uh, ruins uh, where this uh, robot is hanging out with a uh, with, with an Indian boy and a uh, and a lady who sounds like a chipmunk and a Wolverine is there and no no that was Chappy oh 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 ch ch Chappy ch Chappy uh, uh, okay sorry uh, um w when does the movie exactly begin? It, it, it begins with the dragon. Oh, oh, I remember the ja dragon now. The, the, the one that is made out of wrinkly ass leather. Yes, that one. The wrinkly leather Dr. Strange Benedict Cumberbatch Khan Sherlock dragon. And he, and the last time we saw this dragon, he was about to destroy that uh, shitty ass town. And in this one, he does! He destroys it, and he he makes fire go everywhere. I say fire, eh? burning in my place. I see fire. Yes. So anyway, um, yes. So um. Everything continues now. We 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 got the dwarves. We 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 got that one hot and sexy dwarf who is uh, who who is all sick, but he's getting better thanks to Evangeline Lily. You know, remember I talked about the orgasm they had. Ah, you remember that? But my my, remember, my memory isn't that good. Uh, wait, wait, whatever. So anyway, um, so now that uh, he's all good and good to go, uh, they have to escape the town because because a uh, Smaug, the dragon, is destroying it. Yes, he's destroying everything. Um, 
the Hobbit, Bilbo is all uh, guilty and not doing anything at all, and neither are the other dwarves. Uh, up in the uh, mountain, up in uh, Erebor, is it called? Yeah, Erebor. Not giving a shit about a town that's not that far away, getting its ass destroyed. But, um... But Brard, um, that, uh, you, 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 you know who I'm talking about, that guy, the bow and arrow guy, uh, he is able to escape the prison, um, that was set by, uh, Stephen Fry, uh, who is escaping with his gold, by the way, and pushing that little sleazy, uh, monobrow guy out of the boat, um, Bard escapes, and he goes up to a big old bell, bell tower, and uh, and he and he uses all his bows and arrows, or one bow and a bunch of arrows, to uh, take down the dragon. And then the dragon, uh, Schmaug, uh, is he uh, 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 decides to stop flying around, and is like, "Hey, hey, you! I can talk somehow. I'm going to beat you up, and I'm going to do it very slowly." Yeah, th 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 that gives him enough time to uh, receive that big ass uh, arrow from uh, his son and use his son as a balance to uh, putting his son in danger, by the way. But uh, he takes down the dragon with it. Yes, he manages to um, he manages to stab um, Smile uh, in the one place where he's vulnerable. So basically, uh, Smile is. Uh, what the hell is that called? The uh, Death Star. Smog is a Death Star. And now he's dead. And so is Stephen Fry because he lands exactly on Stephen Fry. I, I, I would talk that up to a uh, dramatic irony. Yes. But now that the dragon is uh, defeated, uh, uh, all of the townspeople have nowhere to go. Oh no. Uh, I, one of them are uh, Stephen Colbert. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't see him in the crowd. Maybe he's too busy uh, flying with Santa and uh, Abraham Lincoln and, and Alex Trebek. Spoiler alert! But anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so, so they're trying to, so, so they're, so, so they're trying to recover from this. Their town is in ruins. It's all fucked up now. So they have to go um to a new place to live. And they, they, they're like, hey, why don't we live in Erebor? But first, let's, let's, let, let's, um. Let's set up camp in this uh, fucked up in between town. So they go to the in between town, um, but but the uh, but the hobbits that were good to go um, were let go by um, Evangeline Lily, and she and uh, Orlando Jones Bloom Elf uh, go uh, have their own uh, little uh, subplot in the movie, uh, looking for um, extra orcs to deal with because they heard that there's some big old problems happening. Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah, there are orcs at the movie. But we'll, 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 we'll get into those later anyway. Um, so with the dwarves, uh, all the dwarves reunite at um, at Erebor, uh, the, 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 their kingdom that they used to live in. Like, the, the first movie explained that you they used to live in Erebor and they were all happy and like, Yay, we got our Alkin stone, our Arkin, Arkin, Arkansas stone, and it's going to help us out somehow. I don't remember yeah, how, but, um, but the, 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 the stone was stolen by, um, by, by Smaug, and Smaug took the, um, Airborne from them. Oh no, or help they, all uh, get rid of that dragon. Uh, they just did, we just talked about it, uh, two minutes ago. Uh, uh oh yeah, I, for, I forgot already. Sorry, I, I, I got a lot, lot of drugs in my system right now. Okay, well you gotta process that out of you somehow. So anyway, um, Yes, so um, so the dwarves have their kingdom back, but now uh, it's not complete unless they get their damn stone back. Yeah, that all could stop stone. Yes, and um, their leader, uh, uh, Thorin, not Thor, Thor in, um, or have a Thor out. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. So anyway, Thorin has gotten all mad with power now. He's got his own crown, and only and crowns can only mean people are being douchebags. And he's got his crown, and he looks like the Burger King, and he's he's dictating all of the other dwarves. And the one habit, which by the way is 
Bilbo, and then it turns out that Bilbo, hey, remember in the in the second one, we thought that Bilbo took the stone, but then in hindsight, it's like, no, wait, Thorin is probably just getting all corrupt. Well, both are happening. Bilbo did take the Arkin stone. Oh, no, what, 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 what's he going to do with it? I have no idea. Now, excuse me while I give myself another ice bucket challenge. Yum. So anyway, uh, what the hell was I talking about? Oh yes. So anyway, yes. Um, a Thorin is getting all corrupt by this, and and a bard of the humans, you know, who were just in that fucked up town, comes to uh Thorin and he's like, Hey Thorin, how's it going? Um, remember we had a deal that um, if I helped you out with getting your land back. Uh, you would help us out, you know, like help us out a bit. Um, we, we're, we're going to need a place to crash. And, you know, this place looks like not a too bad of a place. So, um, or at least give us your gold. You know, you got all this gold, uh, probably more than you actually need. Uh, you know, like maybe we could use it to like build, rebuild our, t uh, our town, you know, get Ty Paddington to come. Uh, he, he has, he probably hasn't uh, done anything in a decade. You know, get him, get him to, uh, help us out, you no, can you do that for us? And Thorin is like, no, I won't, because this is the only, the beginning of this movie. We, we, we gotta cause conflict for this. So the conflict is that I'm gonna be a douche now all of a sudden, and not give you this kingdom. Isn't that right, dwarves? And all the dwarves are like sheep, and they're like, bah, okay. Um, but, uh, but Bilbo, uh, won't have this. Um, what, 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 when are we going to talk about the orcs? Well, uh, first, before we talk about the orcs, we have to talk about who the, who they're apparently fighting for. And the person that they're fighting for, it's not worth fighting for, is, um, is, uh, is apparently the person they're fighting for is is the ne 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 necromancer. It, 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 it's Sauron. It's not worth fighting for because Sauron has been keeping uh because the last time we saw uh Mr. Uh, Gandalf the Gay uh, I think that's a cliche now to call him that. Okay, fine. Now I'll be not cliche by not saying that. Gandalf the Gray. There, are you good? Uh, how, how about Fifty uh, Shades of Gandalf? Okay, Fifty Shades of Gandalf the Grey. Um, the last time we saw him, he was trapped in the inside of this Tweety Bird cage, and now he's still in it. But he gets freed by um by uh, Christopher Lee and and the Red Skull Elf and and Kate Blanchett uh, Elf. Yes, they free him, and, um, and, and, but now they must battle, a uh, Sauron and his, uh, army of, of cool-looking, um, video game knights, and they beat them up, and, uh, and Radagast comes, you know, the hippie wizard, and he takes, um, and he takes, uh, and he takes, um, uh, uh, Gandalf with him, but Gandalf is like, no, I have to stay, and, and Kate Blanchett Elf is like, no, go, I'm gonna be a bitch about it and transform into a demon, and then she's this, this creepy looking demon guy, and, and she's, and you're a pretty woman, and she vanquishes, a uh, Sturon, but, 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 but wait a minute, isn't Sauron like the main villain in the, uh, trilogy? Yeah, that's a weird thing. Um, isn't he supposed to be like a like um, established as an overlord in that, like having one or something? They they, 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 they kind of set it up here, but then they're like, nope. The the elf lady, the scary elf lady, vanquished him. But doesn't he come back somehow? Y'all, they didn't explain that at all. Yeah, but anyway, um, let's get back to um. The other thing that's happening, yes, um, so, uh, so, uh, the elves decide to come back too, uh, and, uh, come to, uh, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to Erebor, uh, to take, you know, uh, to, to, uh, 
to deal with these douchebag orcs to, to help the humans out. So they so they join so the humans and the uh and the elves uh, join forces uh to to um try to get uh the elves to give up uh, at least some of the gold. You know you don't have to be a dick about it. But Thorin is still like nope. But uh, Bilbo has other plans because um he gets into the midst. Uh, but also, uh, Gandalf comes back. Yes, he, he is good now. He got delivered to them by Radagrass, the hippie brown, uh, shit brown, uh, uh, wizard. And, uh, he's like, look, guys, I know this subplot is important at all, but I've got another, uh, storyline in this movie for you guys to, uh, to be involved in. The orcs are gonna destroy everybody for the sake of the ne ne necromancer who apparently is already vanquished. But the orcs are still going to kill us. You, you, we gotta focus on them. We gotta focus this movie on them, not on the on the uh, dwarves being being uh, douchebags right now. And and uh, and the elf is like, look, look, we don't need this other storyline. And and uh, and uh, Bilbo is like, hey, I can I can wrap up this storyline because I got the Arkenstone. Yes, he has delivered them the Arkenstone and. Uh, and so, um, hey, 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 feel free to jump in any time you want. No, no, I, 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 I'm comfortable where I am. Yeah, are you sure? Uh, 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 okay, I, 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 I guess I'll uh, talk for a, 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 a bit. Uh, uh, so, um, the, the, so, uh, uh, the, the two armies are uh, the human army and uh, the dwell, the door. Elf army, uh, go to Erebor, uh, you know, Bard is on a horse and Lee Pace Elf is on a, is on a deer and they go there and they, uh, and they tell them like, hi, uh, if you don't give us some of your gold that you promised, or uh, we won't give you this here orchid stone. Yeah, okay, you can take a break. I, I can see why you are talking that, but you take forever, good God. So anyway, um, with the dwarves, uh, 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 or at least the Thorin in particular, is like, no, no, you you can't have the Arkenstone. You, 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 you would have to be inside of here to get the Arkenstone. And, and the Bilbo is like, like, oh, by the way, uh, I took the Arkenstone. That's why they have it. And, and Thorin is like, oh, I'm going to be such a douche and kill you. You were my friend. You, 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 you were my friend, and now you're not, and I'm being a douchebag for no reason. So, uh, so Bilbo, uh, gets, gets, uh, pulled on down, uh, back to the humans and the, uh, elves and the one wizard, and, um, and, and, uh, and, um, so, um, so, uh, Bard is like, come on, let, let's do this deal. Do you... It, will you stop this uh douchebaggery you're doing and um for in turn of the for the Arkenstone and and um and uh and Thorin is like nope because my cousin has arrived oh my gosh it's his cousin and he's played by uh by Brave's uh father. Oh, 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 oh I don't think that girl's name is uh Brave. I think it's Al Alida. No, no one remembers her name. They only remember a uh, brave. So anyway, the father from Brave is here, and he's also a a, a dwarf riding a pig and a big old pop belly pig, and and he's got his own army. He's got a big ass army of uh, dwarves who conveniently arrive. I don't know how they knew that this was happening, but they arrive and and they're about to battle the elves. But then, oh, it's that third that other storyline. Yes. The orcs have arrived, and they make, and, and the way they get there is through the mountains, through these holes that are made by giant as uh, doom worms. So now that the worms have popped up and uh, and eaten the Millennium Falcon, they go back down and make way for the uh, for the evil uh, orcs to arrive. And now that the orcs are here, um, they are about to 
Pietro the uh, the uh, dwarves and, and 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 the dwarves are like yeah we can handle them and and the elves are like nope that we're gonna we're gonna beat these guys up so so now the elves and the uh, dwarves are, are are joining forces d d d despite um despite uh, not really doing it on purpose it just so happens that they both had the same enemies uh the orcs. Yeah, and uh, this is how uh, the uh, two uh, pretty elves, uh, Orlando Bloom and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, Evangeline Lily uh, come back. Yes, and they and they regroup with the other elves, and 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 and, and, and the dwarves are still are still you know holding ground, you know, and 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 the dwarves are beginning to realize that you know um, I think I think Thorin really is being a douchebag here. Uh, hey Thorin, um, step out of it. Uh, aren't you gonna help your fellow dwarves out? I mean, you're not even helping them out. You're being such a jerky jerk, make jerk face, and Thorin has to go through this story arc where he's walking around uh, like he's, he's you know like trying to discover himself and he thinks about it and he thinks about it and and he imagines being corrupted and he imagines the small dragon that died hours ago and and him being being um metaphorically engulfed by go by gold yeah it's it's supposed to be uh, an allegory Yes, and he defeats it by um by by uh, throwing off the crown and no longer looking like the Burger King. So he is no longer corrupted. So he's like, "Hey, dwarves, let's go fight those orcs." So they so they um so they get out of their kingdom and start fighting with the other orcs and start fighting the well not the other orcs the uh, the dwarves. Sorry, they both share the same v vowel sound. So they go. So they both go now fighting the orcs. Y'all, the, the the everybody's all fighting together against the orcs. Yes, but wait a minute. Uh, you said this was uh, the the fourth armies. Uh, who is the fifth army? Because I kind of count only uh four right now. You 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 got the humans. You you you, you got the elves. You you got the dwarves. You you. You you got the orcs. <laughs> Who is the fifth person here? Well, um, the fifth army. Huh. Well, um, it could uh be um the necromancer, but he's kind of on the orc side, and uh, I guess it's Bilbo since he's not really on any side really. Okay, so it's Bilbo. That or uh, Gandalf or uh, the uh, Werebear, but we'll get into him later. Anyway, um, so so everyone's fighting now. There's big fighting all around. That sleazy, um, that sleazy unibrow, uh, unibrow guy is is cross dressing. There's there's mass hysteria all around. People are fighting orcs. Orcs are using like bigger and bigger orcs. The goblins arrived to fight with the orcs. Um, there's giant orcs, there's skinny orcs, there's goblins having sex with orcs. Okay, that one's not real. But I wish it was. There, there's, there's orcs that look like big giant Shrek babies. There's orcs that have, uh, that have rhino masks. They're probably voiced by, uh, Paul Giamatti. It's, it's, it's all this bunch of stuff. There's orcs with maces for feet. All of this bullshit. So anyway, um... So, uh, so, so the cross-dressing unibrow guy, uh, takes some of the money and leaves. He goes away and we never see him in this, uh, movie again. So who knows what the hell happened to him? M m m maybe he went to open up his own little company, like a li little, uh, mom and pop shop. And he met a, a nice man and the man accepted him for who, who he was, a, a transsexual and they uh, adopted a couple of Asian babies and lived happily ever after. That's a nice thought. So anyway, um, uh, Bard has this subplot where he loses his kids, but then finds them again. So that was kind of useless, and 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 it's getting more and more dramatic because because the orcs are led by an evil pale orc, the one that looks like Merle from The Walking Dead, who has a son who looks like Daryl from The Walking Dead, and and um. 
and uh, Dero is is uh, is uh, paired off with um, with uh, with uh, with uh, Legolas. Uh, who's Legolas? Uh, the, the old Orlando Ju Blo Jones Bloom elf. But do you know? But do you know who the? Uh, but the, do you know who the pale orc is paired off with? His arch nemesis, Thorin. Yes, it's finally Thorin's time to uh, take his revenge for his father's decapitation by defeating um, the pale orc who has not seen the sun. So, so they're fighting. But first, uh, the orc has to show he means business by killing off one of the 13 dwarves we've been with this whole trilogy. Oh no, which one is it? It's it's one of the two sexy young dwarves. Oh no, well at least we got one sexy uh, young dwarf left. Well he dies too. What? Yes, you see that one uh, had a bit of a romance, like this cute adorable interracial romance with an elf. Um, and I was like, yep, one of them's going to die, and it turns out I was right, one of them did die, and it was the, uh, dwarf, it was not the elf lady, it was not Evangeline Lily. Oh, uh, 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 okay, okay, good, because, uh, she's got to turn into a wasp next year. Well, we're not turning into a wasp, but, 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 but anyway, yes, uh, I had a feeling one of them was going to die, especially her, since, you know, she's not in the... Uh, Lord of the Rings films, which take place after this. Well, well how are we supposed to know what, 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 what she did then? I don't know. Maybe she became like the accountant of that mom and pop shop that the uh, unibrow lady man uh, opened. Yep, that's probably what she did. Yeah, to get her mind off of the horrible loss of the sexy young dwarf. So yes, both sexy young dwarfs are dead, and so now the um, so now they gotta avenge them by getting rid of these asshole um orcs. So um, so Lego last, you know, Orlando Blooms, you know, does his his badass thing where he where, where he 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 kills people and not not people, sorry, orcs. And you know he's fighting the orc on the, on the uh, on, on the ledge, and then he and and then there's like a whole bunch of rocks falling off, and he he treats the falling rocks like stepping stones. It's cool and badass, and it makes up for the fact that Orlando Ju Bloom is a pussy in real life. And uh, he finally gets up to uh to the uh what's his name Bolg okay B Bolg. Uh, Mount Bolga and uh, and kills him. He 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 stabs him in the uh, head, and, and 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 so there goes down that orc. But what about the other orc, the big ass white pale orc? By the way, all the egos are back. The egos are back. Yes, the the uh, conveniently placed uh, Deus Ex Machina uh, egos are back, but this time they don't act as Deus Ex Machinas. Instead, they're just there to help out. You know, they they bring the hippie wizard with them, and they also bring the were bear. And the were bear gets to be naked for a second, and then become a bear. And we don't see him ever again. So I guess he died. Oh well, boo, 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 whatever. Go away, were bear. We we got to focus on these other things. Also, or uh, apparently, or uh, Bell Bell is knocked out for this. Yeah, he's knocked out for the climax. But that's okay because at least he sees some of the action, not like the other ones where he like woke up and it was like sixty days later and it was like, hey, he he he's supposed to be the main character. What the hell? So anyway, um, so anyway, uh, he wakes up. But by the time he he wakes up. Um, uh, uh, Thorin, uh, ha had vanquished the Pale Orc, but he paid a horrible price. Yes, uh, he was fighting the Orc, uh, on top of ice, on top of a frozen pond, but, but the Orc, uh, fell into the pond like Adam Sandler in, uh, Mr. Deeds. Yes, but he didn't save him because unlike Adam Sandler in that movie, uh, the Orc is a horrible monster. And uh, he sees the orc's floating body uh, underneath the ice, and the uh, orc wakes up and uh, talks him again. Yes, but this time he um stabs uh, Thorin in the um in the chest 
but Thorin stabs him back and stabs him even more than 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 the than uh, the or the pale orc stabbed him. So the Manu Banette orc. Uh, that by the way, that's the guy who plays him. He also plays Slade. So you know, Manu Banette likes to play people who lost body parts. Maybe next time he'll play a castrated man. So anyway, um, Manu Banette orc is dead now. He's dead. He's been vanquished. By, um, he's been vanquished by Thorin. Yeah, but Thorin still got fucked up by that. Yes, so much so that now Thorin is dying, but at least he is conveniently alive long enough to talk to, uh, to, um, to, uh, Bilbo and give him his final farewell speech. Like, Bilbo, you, you were my best friend. Can we kiss? Well, actually, no, that's not... That, that, that's not what happens because, um, that's just in my fantasies. We can't, we, we can't always have an ending like Legend of Korra where, where these gay ships turned out to be confirmed. Oh, well, what, 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 wait a minute. Legend of Korra ended in a gay way? Yes. Hooray for progression! Yes, so anyway, yes. So with his last breath, Thorin is like, Goodbye, Bilbo. I'll always be in here. Your balls. No, that was just a joke. Oh, I'm dying now. It was so happy. Of, I, I had the best three movie trilogy experience of my life. Oh, I'm dead now. So, yes, Thorin is dead. To the surprise of everyone who was too lazy to know what the books were about. So Thorin is dead. Um, the two sexy dwarves are dead. But all the humans survived. Yes, um, the, 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 the humans are, 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 are okay and they're playing trumpets. Yes, and um, at least... Um, y y y y y you, you know, uh, at least uh, 10 out of the 13 dwarves is okay. That That's not bad, you know. Like, that's not too shabby. Uh, 10 out of 13 dwarves dying, you know. It's just kind of sad that uh, it was kind of only the, uh, you, you, the only dwarves that died were the ones that had character development. Well, 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 maybe that's a good thing. Like, maybe they knew that all... That or it was it would be more sad if they got rid of uh, of the dwarves that 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 people cared about, and not the dwarves that we didn't give a shit about, like that one that had a hearing aid, and uh, the the big fat chubby one, and uh, the messy hair one, and the star hair one, and the one with the uh cotton hat, and uh and uh, 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 uh and all the rest are Gilligan's Island. Yeah, and the big, uh, tough, bod one, and the old one. But yes, they, they all survived. They're okay. They're a, they're okie dokie. So um, so now uh, so now uh, Bilbo must go back to his home because that's where he was at, at the beginning of the Lord of the Rings movie because this is a prequel. So uh, he says goodbye to the dwarves and he says, you know, if you ever come back, uh, I'll, 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 I'll let you guys have a house party again, like in the first one. And you can, and you can be like all your douchebaggy selves if you want. So yes, he says a heartfelt goodbye to the dwarves. Goodbye, dwarves. Goodbye, most of these dwarves who I did not care to uh, learn any of the names of. Y'all, I still don't know who half of those dwarves are. But yes, so he goes, says goodbye to them. He he goes with um with uh, Gandalf the Grey, the Gandalf the Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, back to the Hobbit Town, and um and uh, Lee Pace Elf tells uh, tells Orlando Blo Jones Bloom Elf it like look um. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Evangeline New Lily. She's probably going to be depressed now. But but you 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 go out there and you uh, make friends with a human who uh, who is going to be the main protagonist of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And they won't say who what his name is, even though everyone knows exactly who I'm talking about. Cue classic Lord of the Rings music. Da 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 da. That that, that, that that sounded more like the uh, like the Buck to the Future music. 
So, sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm really tired. So anyway, um, so now that all of that is set, like all of the, um, you know, uh, Lord of the Rings build-up is set and good, well, 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 except for the macro that's a ton of good too that joined us or uh, oi. Yeah, that wasn't set up, but that's okay. He's probably floating around being like, someday, in two weeks or so, someday. So, 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 what we say, uh, Bilbo and uh, Gandalf are traveling back home, and uh, apparently, uh, the wizard uh, knew that uh, Bilbo had the, the ring the whole time. Yes. And he knows that the ring is with Bilbo. And um, at first, you think, oh no, is is Bilbo is uh, is Gandalf going to take the ring for Bilbo? Nope, he, he he doesn't acknowledge it at all. He's like, yeah, I I I know you have the ring. And and Bilbo is like, yeah, because no no no, I don't. I lost it. And and uh, Gandalf is like, oh, you sneaky little son of a bitch. I know you still have it. Okay, bye. Why doesn't he have, uh, why, if, if Gandalf clearly knows that he has it, or uh, why doesn't he, uh, just, uh, take it from Bilbo? Because we need the other movies to happen, goddammit. Otherwise, we don't get the Lord of the Rings movies, and we really need those movies because they already happened and that would be messing with the space-time continuum. Or so maybe it's because he knows that if it's, that if it, uh, if the uh, ring stays in possession of uh, Bilbo, uh, nothing bad will happen to it because the only worst thing that would happen is Bilbo turning into a little uh, naked, um, uh, mis uh, a little, uh, a, a little naked uh, Steve Buscemi. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, 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 I got it now. So, uh, we say Bilbo, uh, go back to his home, but everybody's taking shit from his house. Yes, because apparently, um, he, he was gone for over a year, just like these movies. Yes, so apparently this is in real time or something. So, um, he has to tell them, like, hey, stop taking away my shit. He, 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 he here's my contract. He has my name on it. See? And, and, and the uh, other hobbits are like, oh, looks like everything, uh, Looks like all, everything's in an order, then. Uh, I guess we have to uh, take your shit back into your house. Damn it, we were gonna put all this stuff on eBay. Oh, by the way, who is this Thorin person? And then Bilbo is like, the Thorin was a good friend of mine. To remind the, the viewers of this movie that I learned a lesson that I made a good friend even though he tried to kill my ass on several occasions. Yeah, re re really sought. So yes, um, many, many, many years passed. Uh, he still kept the ring, and um, and we and we be and, and we end the movie with the beginning of the Lord of the Rings movies. Yes, him being reunited with the with with um the wizard Gandalf the Grey. Yes, it, the movie ends with him being reunited with Gandalf the Grey as an old man. Oh God, that means we get to see the other movies now. Nope. Because the movie is over. Oh. God damn it. I really wanted to see the other movies. Well, you can already see them. I mean, they're already out on DVD. They've been... They, they were made a decade ago. Oh oh, oh. oh, right. I forgot. They were already made. Okay, bye. No, 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 no. You gotta stay. You gotta stay. We gotta... We gotta wrap up our, uh, over our thoughts. So anyway, um... So next comes a whole bunch of drawings, a, a bunch of pretty drawings of uh, the characters and whatnot. And, and, and the, uh, the last Lord of the Rings movie also did that, where they showed the characters and they showed and, and, and they played this, this moving song about it being the end. And like, goodbye, this song is being played by one of the prissy little, um, the one of the pretty pretty little uh, hobbits from the Fast Trilogy. Goodbye. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So yes, the the movie, the Hobbit films are finally over. It is finally the end. Yep, it's the end of the movie. So, uh, what did you think of it? Well, um, I thought it was a blast, like a lot of action, a lot of not boring parts in it, 
um, it was a lot of uh, suspense and drama and whatnot, and, um, not that much exposition or understanding what's going on, but like I said, you have to see the other two to, uh, understand that. Y'all, uh, has my problem, uh, what you said, uh, in order to understand what the hell is going on in this movie, or uh, you, you, you need to see the uh, other two, uh, and uh, they're really long movies, so that would like take uh, a whole day or so. So uh, 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 I think that the movie suffers because of that. Well, um, I believe that if people see this on its own, they would still be entertained by the big ass action and the drama between characters and the conflict. And sure, some of that conflict is BS, like, oh, Thorin's gonna be a douchebag for some reason. I still thought it was a fun ride, and, um, so, um, so yeah, um, I don't mind having to see all three in a row to understand what the hell is going on, because, uh, what's important to me is the experience. And the experience I had here was very positive, very exhilarating, and, 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 you know, dramatic, and, like, all this big-ass stuff is happening, and all this, and it's, like, all cool and epic. So, um, so overall, um, let's rate the film, shall we? Uh, uh. Uh, 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 okay, uh, let's, 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 uh, let's rate it. Okay, okay, so do you think the folks at home that are watching this review for some reason, uh, hopefully a lot, since, you know, we've been on the whole damn year, um, do you think, uh, Trevor, that, uh, the, the people at home should either, uh, um, watch this movie or, um, or should they uh, have a monobrow and uh, cross-dress and then get stabbed in the head by Orlando Jones' uh, metrosexual elf? Well, I think that uh, they, they should get stabbed in the head by Orlando, jo or Orlando Blue metrosexual elf and uh, be... Uh, what, what, what was that? That was a really stupid thing you said. Cross-dressing? They, 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 they should get stabbed in the head as a cross-dresser. Really? Way! Because I want to keep consistent with what I said last time, and also, or uh, this movie has to make me remember the other ones, and I don't like remembering because that messes with my brain, and it's already messed up enough with the drugs. Okay, then that's your opinion. Um, I would prefer to watch this movie. Uh, I thought it was a great ride. Um, I don't mind seeing, like, all them together at once. It, it's fun to do that. Like, yay, movie marathon. So, uh, so, so, uh, two thumbs up for me. No thumbs up from Trevor. Nope, no ring thumbs for bye. So, um, yes. So, that's it, guys. A whole year of reviewing leading up to reviewing this sequel. Ugh. But don't worry, guys. There's gonna be lots to come from, from me. Because now we're heading to 2015, and there's going to be more movies to talk about. And also, we're not done with the, with the, with the, with, the, with, the, with 2015 yet. There's still another movie to talk about, or two, or three. So, um, and then after that, then we can talk about movies from 2015. So look forward to those. Uh, whenever those movies come out, I'll you 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 know. Uh, basically, expect from next year. Uh, what you got this year? Whenever a movie comes out, I'll freaking talk about it with a uh, fellow super villain. So thank you for helping us uh, do this for one whole year. Um, not that many people do, uh, very few, but still, thank you, very few, and, um, and I'll see you guys, uh, next time, when, uh, when, when, when we either talk about, um, about a movie that's, uh, directed by Maleficent, or, or we talk about a movie about, um, about Miro Streep, Fi finally playing herself in the movie. Yes, she finally gets to play herself. She gets to, uh, she gets to just be herself in front of the camera. So look forward to those, uh, next time on Gravity Talk. Ugh. So, uh, so do I just sh show myself out? Yeah, but I thought maybe we could, like, end in a song again like we did last time. No, I, I think that's okay, uh, I, I, I never saw that squid thing here before. Yeah, he he's new. He he I uh, he he came here from Ice Man, yes. 
Oh, uh, 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 oh, okay. So you think this is going to be any more uh, of this franchise? Well, um, I heard that uh, there's the Samarillion uh, trilogy they could adapt, but apparently um, the estate of J.R.R. Tolkien is being a douchebag about it and being like, No, no more movies from, from my dad's franchise. No more movies. Uh, uh, oh, that's, that's really sad. So, um... No, 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 it's really the song. We, we, we should probably do, do something about it. Maybe we should hack him. Like, like Kim Jong-un did to, uh, did, did to Frank, James Franco and, and Seth Rogen. Oh, 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 